ng bakbakan sa inyong PBA. Pwede rin maging handa sa intense na bakbakan kayong mga kalalakian. Subukan nyo ang robust dietary supplement for men, Astig ito. 75-62, the Miracle Balls continue to keep Parangay Hinebra at bay. Pero hindi naman nawawala ng loob ang libo-libong nagsisiksigan ngayon dito sa Antipolo. Bakit naman hindi? First time in a year, nandirito ang PBA. Quality basketball na naman ang ating natutunghaya. Yun nga, tapos siya. Kagaya nga na sabi mo, you know, it's been a while since Barangay Nebra played on this floor. It's been two years already. A little over 2012 season, eh, no? Yung huli nila dito. Wala na pong tatlong minuto natin tira sa ating ikatlong yukto. Atkins working against Urbis Tondo. Good pressure there by Urbis Tondo. Ten seconds remaining sa shot clock ng Meralco. Makapagal has Aguilar switching out. Sena gets it over to Buena Fe. Big spin from Ryan. Puta na pa rin inabot. Wala kay Aguilar. Kagiwa to Urbis Tondo. Stop in top three. No. Oh, at na last touch doon si Makapagal. Great defense there by Barangay Hinebra. Inabangan lang ni Japet yung spin move ni Buena Fe. Slaughter looking to come back on. Papalitan muna niya si Billy Mamaril. At nagmamadali naman dito sa kabila si Mike Cortez. Papalitan si Buena Fe. A two-point guard rotation ang ginawa din ni Coach Norman. Atkins and Cortez on the floor together as Kakiwa gets away. Baseline oh, you know How many times we just talk about confidence coming off that screen. Mark will drill that. Mabasa siya, mang inaabul lang inebra. Cortez trying to calm down the bolts. Senna to Atkins, nice backdoor cut, feeding Hugnatan for the finger roll. So, Meralco is simply just reading the defense. You deny me, I go backdoor play. 77-66, Urbistondo's in trouble. Ayun na nga, na-turnover na, so Nathan played the lanes. That was all kinds of trouble para kay Urbistondo, walang lumapit para tumulong. Exacto, the triangle will also allow you to move your big guys up, pero in that last play, bigla nakabulagado ng Bernardo. Aimin muna natin yung tira ni Mark Kagiwa. Tough shot yan, at it's sa atin ang DeWalt Power Tools. Guaranteed tough. Reyna Lugnatan looking to stretch this lead back up to 13. Takes care of that first free throw. What I like with Meralco Magu is they're really pressuring hard. You can see the intensity with Atkins. You can even see the intensity with Lugnatan and Senna. They really body up on the offensive play. And para kay Reyna, after being shut down the last five games para dito sa Meralco, he's now back in double figures with 10. After opening this uh, season with 28 points, you know, he struggled all throughout. Less than two minutes now remaining in the third. Yo metanga ng bola. Lapin tatlong kailang punuin ng barangay Nebra. Peralco dropping down to a 2 3 zone. Aguilar trying to look for slaughter, trying to attack the gaps of that zone. Yeah, kailangan talaga. Um, the zone, with the zone, your main offensive weapon there would be just to attack the gaps where there's no guy you have to be happy that ball moves around quick but Meralco is just sticking with their game plan after missed free throws or after oh, sorry after made free throws they would go strictly to a free throw Jap, uh, Greg Slaughter now 8 for 13 from that free throw line He's the leading scorer para sa Barangay Nebra. On average, 14 points and 13 rebounds ang kanyang naiaambag on a nightly basis. Look at this. He's already got 17 points now and 11 boards. Pakonti, konti lang, but he's making heavy contributions here in the third period. Meralco continues to weather these Barangay Nebra third quarter storms as Atkins drills it from deep. Long to lang, but still a big shot para sa Bolts. No, the still guys. The forwards, you know, the contribute coming into those screen and rows, taking those jumpers. Aguilar contra Sena wants to take him off the dribble. Aguilar is double teamed. Orbistondo to Yo for the long one. Joseph fights it. Joseph, Joseph's three point shooting in the previous games. Joseph already has 10 points in the game. All of a sudden, pressure in the backcourt once again. Muladito sa Barangay Hinebra. Cortez gets it across pa punta kay Sena. Makapagal comes out to meet that leather. Makapagal, dumaan sa pick ni Sena. Dalawa sumalubong. He goes cross-court to Atkins. Atkins down the lane. Puts it up and out. Aguilar para sa board. 
Barangay Nebra on the run, looking to come to within eight, maybe even seven. Orbistondo directing traffic. They want Slaughter at the post. Ten to shoot para sa Nebra. Slaughter pushed out of his comfort zone. Kagiwa flashing down the middle. Slaughter looking to attack Ferriols. And the whistle is blown. Foul before the shot. Pero two free throws pa rin to. Dahil penalty na ang magkabila dito sa third. Pagkagaroon ng aborted play ang triangle. Naiwan kay Greg yung bola. Pamaan na lang ang laban. Itong si Ferriols is really giving him a hard time. Hindi siya basta basta makalapit. Good to say the area. Slaughter has been making a living off that 15-foot line. Goes in the first one to bring them to within nine. And he has scored all of his points in the third period. Or most of his points in the third. Two for two para dito kay Greg Zilla. 14 puntos mag-go in the third period. Atkins with the third quarter winding down. Great anyway by Orbis Tondo. Orbis Tondo was looking up at the clock and that's going to be an advantage foul on Atkins. Double black eye para dito sa Meralgo. That's the reason why Coach Jeffrey Caryasi put in job for Orbis Tondo. He needs that pressure. He needs that energy. That's one way for Barangay Ginebra to get back in the street. Simon Atkins losing his cool in that sequence. Urbis Tondo was way ahead of him. Used to be called the advantage foul. Meron pang a clear path foul. But uh, regardless of what it's called, this is only free throws. That's something that they really need. With four seconds left in the third, we began to feel the chance and I might be back. It is deemed an advantage foul. Dahil wala nang ang ibang defender doon para makalayap si Urbis Tondo. Now Urbis Tondo can bring in Ebra to within six points, which would be the closest they've come in a long, long while. So the spark off the bench have been provided dito ni Josh Urbis Tondo. Ball will remain with Barangay in Ebra. They can come to it in four, maybe even three for a long one. Right, this is going to be their opportunity. Lalo, lalo na. They have last possession bago matapos in third. Kangiwa maglalabas. Barangay in Ebra's in motion. They go to Japet. Back to Mark. Kangiwa was trying to fish for a foul, but with 2.3 seconds remaining on the clock, the ball will go to... Sino nga ba? The Meralco Bolts. Ayun niya, ayan na eh. Sabi na ref, hindi. Bola ng Inebra. Well, I feel it's a ball of Inebra because when Mark took that shot, they were looking for that foul. There was contact. Lumabas yung bola. So now, Barangay Inebra with the, what would look like a corner kick from football. Orbistondo to Slaughter. What a play by Barangay Inebra. What execution. By Barangay Nebra San Miguel, you know Coach Chef Carriaso has drawn those up and they've been working on those. Last time around, hindi nila nakuha yung alley-oop dunk. This time, hindi sila ipinaya ni Greg Zilla. Ang layo nung pasa doon ni Urbis Tondo from that baseline. And he was still able to get it because of that sheer size and good positioning under the basket. Gising na gising na ang mga galamay ng barangay. Apat na lang ang inaabol nila. The final 12 minutes from Antibolo coming up after this break.